We hope you're enjoying this Aroma Yoga Day of Renewal. We're having so much fun today with you. Now we're on to the water element, and water is what makes life. The water element is connected to the second chakra, and the polarity triad are all of the reproductive organs, the feet, and the breasts. And so if you think about water, it needs to move. Water takes the shape of whatever container it's in, and water is connected to our emotions. When we get into uh, more of the details in our Aroma Yoga teacher training, we really get into each element, and it's amazing every time we teach this course, that element that we're talking about seems to be everywhere in our lives that, that day or that week that we're studying that one element. It's, it's quite remarkable. So if you're feeling like you need more emotional stability, if you're feeling like it's hard for you to make change in your life, or you're disconnected from your emotions, the water exercises can really help you with that. And one of the essential oil blends that we use from Young Living in the water element is Inner Child. And I think that this oil is the darling of Aroma Yoga. Whenever we use Inner Child in our classes, our students or you know brand new participants just go to heaven and come back with this particular oil. And one of the things about this blend you need to remember is that there are citrus oils in this blend. So if you remember what we said about the citrus oils, they are photosensitive. So if you are administering oils to people, have them not touch their skin where it will be exposed to the sunlight. So a couple of drops of the inner child. And you can see the, maybe you can see the color of that. The tangerine is pr prominent in this blend. Rubbing your palms together, inhaling, not touching our face and exhaling. And then you can put the essential oil on the bottoms of your feet. It's another great place to put the oils. So let's get started with a few of the, my favorite exercises for the water element. This is all about opening up the hips and making relationship to the sacrum and getting some flow in our lower body. So I'm gonna start with simple windshield wipers. So rubbing your palms together, inhaling, and any excess oil, if you wanna just put it in your hair, that'll be a nice diffuser, or on your clothing, should be fine, but I don't wanna put oils directly from my hands to my mat because I don't want the oil to disintegrate my mat. So that's why I'm doing a little extra so your hands come behind you, your, your fingers are facing away from you, and it's like you're just kicking back at the beach. Your feet are extended out, and all you're going to do is windshield wiper your feet. And if you can see, the movement is rippling up from my feet all the way up into the hips. And this is a great hip opener. It can be very grounding as well. Earth and water love each other. So we do a lot of the earth or out of the, a lot of the water exercises close to the earth. <clears throat> so after you go a couple of moments here, you can go faster and then just slow it down and come to a, a stop. Close your eyes and notice what you feel. A great question to ask is, what are you noticing? Any sensations, tingling, movement, and then after a few moments of just noticing, you can do it again. So this is a great exercise if you're feeling a lot of um, stagnation energetically, a lot of water retention in your feet or your ankles. This will help move the lymphatic system. It's very beneficial for circulation. And then stop and pause. One more exercise I'll show you, very simple. Bring your heels towards your bottom. Have your fingers come over your toes. Your knees are bent. Now you can decide how far away you want your heels or close, depending on your flexibility. This is good for me right here. And this is called rowing. So all I'm doing is pressing my feet down on imaginary gas or brake pedals of my car and then coming back and forth. And so this is great for the lower back. It helps open up the sacrum. Again, it's helping the water chakra have some connection to the earth. <clears throat> you can also alternate the pumping. Again, great for the lymphatic system, which is ruled by the water element. And then when you're done, 
You can just come to a pause, sit up tall, close your eyes, and just notice what your energy is doing. Notice what you're feeling. And definitely chat in the comment box of how you're feeling with this one. Mm, I love the water. It's very playful. <laughs> so, till next time, namaste.